played our second round in Colorado. Um, practice is going good. Went 1-1 one, in one both of them. And uh, now we just need to go make it happen in the motos, get good starts, and uh, ride good lines, clean lines, and uh, man, if it works out right at the end of the day, we'll get that up play. Yeah, I feel really good today. I think the best I've ever felt here in Colorado. So, uh, you know, the elevation, some guys might feel it, they might not, but I know I'll be uh, good before 30. Coming in with the rip plate is, uh, feels awesome. I mean, I've had the rip plate for Supercon the last, I don't know how many rounds, but it's like at least a half of the series. And um, I really craved it. I didn't think it looked that good with black background, so I really want the red back, and that's what I've done, so I, I gotta keep it now. Everyone's trying to win, that's, that's uh, everyone's goal, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. I hope to get better and better every weekend. It's gonna, uh, Try to be right there in the hunt again, and uh, try to at least uh, get up there and, and fight for the for the win. You know, the whole team is built around just, just trying to win, so that's our whole goal: is go out there and try and win. We'll see what your defending champ has for motor number one. Gates on the ground. Here we go. Coming up into turn one, and it's the 338. Zach Osborne, Geico Honda. Top of the hill they go as they touch down the 94 of Kenny Roxon. Perfect the week ago, and Tim Potter, he's trying to break away early today. So here comes Kenny Roxon, number 94, with the lead. Then we have Zach Osborne with his teammate right in behind him. His teammate's even yelling at him. We gotta watch Tomac. Let's see if he jumps a quad. He's full on. Here it goes is. Goes for it. Oh, and Osborne's off the track and down. He minimized the damage. He's back up pretty quick, but something's wrong with the bike. Ken Roxon on the Red Bull KTM. Won the first two motos of the year, uh, year last week in California. And off to a big early lead here in the third moto of the year. This is the first one in Colorado. And we have found Blake Baggett on the number one. He is outside of the top 20 early in this one. Now he is in 17. Uh, really riding a wide line right there. Trying to get around Richardson. But uh, Baggett, that's still only 16th place. He's got a long way to go. Try to score some points in this one. Cooper Webb has now moved to the number three position. He has caught and passed Marvin Muskan. He could be on the podium. Watch Webb here. Squares him up, just comes straight across. No respect for the two-time world champion. He's a rookie, he doesn't care. If Eli Tomac has a little something left in the tank, right now is when he's gonna have to tap into it. White flag is out and we've got a showdown here in Colorado. Past the mechanics, there they go. Words of encouragement from his mechanic, you can. Oh, oh Tomac is the front end. Oh, we're setting up for a fantastic finish. Ken wow. Roxon's gonna keep it going. Three moto wins in three motos so far this year. Well done to the German on the Red Bull KTM. Having the red plate is, I don't think it stresses me out a lot because uh, when I'm on the bike, I don't see it, so that's a good thing. But um, I think since I had it in Supercross, I'm kind of used to it and I know how to deal with it, so it's actually not too bad. You're telling me about 22,000 Colorado fans on hand to watch his second moto. Jeremy Martin, my favorite Martin, has grabbed the whole shot. So Jeremy Martin, number 77 from Millville, Minnesota, is your leader. Died and now Osborne, wow, takes the lead. Come back down to the inside, takes it from Martin as well. Martin, a rookie, raced two races at the end of the year last year, coming down to the amateur ranks. So he's just getting to understand what it's all about here at the pro level. Rocks and pushes it back to fourth, and then it's Baggett. Finally, a good start for Baggett. Tomac grabs another gear. He's going to try to go the long way around, and he's able to get the pass done. He moves into the number one spot, and Eli Tomac out front. And Roxon goes into second. Persistence by Roxon. Got to think both these guys are going to leave it all out there on the track here in this moto, but what a test here for Kim Roxon now. And Eli Tomac is one of the most fierce competitors, trains hard, he works hard, he's dedicated to what he does, and I mean, so determined to win this championship. He has literally got the flow right now. See Roxon, see his body language right now, he's kind of sitting up, not really, he's, he doesn't look as aggressive at the moment as he did earlier in the day. Still about four minutes 
before the two-lap board comes out. There's plenty of time for Osborne to make it happen. The only rider in front that they don't see at the moment is Tomac because he's 23 wow. seconds out. Osborne, oh, a very aggressive. The lines cut across. Osborne did not back off one bit. That is the definition Yee! of determination. Osborne just wouldn't give up, wouldn't take no for an answer, takes second, and Tomac wins big in front of his home state fans. Gonna give him the overall and a massive boost of confidence. Chasing the red plate, the goal is to have the red plate at the uh, end of Elsinore. But I think anytime you can have the red plate, it, I think it motivates you. And, and I know it motivates Eli to try to get the red plate. So, um, you know, the race through the whole summer is about getting that red plate at the end and, you know, or getting it early and, and holding it you know, all the way to the end.